founders? I think everybody needs to get on board. Um, so, um, you know, I don't think we should be, you know, um, uh, creating heroes and villains here. Um, you know, India has a huge challenge of developing its economy. Um, and, um, you know, it needs, you know, 20 years of growth at the you know, 7% plus level uh, to, to take, you know, four or 500 million people out of poverty. That will be the overriding um, political um, uh, priority for any Indian government. Um, and so our task, if you will, is to, to help uh, the Modi government and any other government in India um, think through where are the opportunities, right back to the beginning of this interview, to create a sweet spot between better economic growth and, and taking action on climate, and by the way, reducing the very costly local air quality and other environmental uh, costs that are associated with if you're more traditional forms of development. I don't think it will be in India's interest to you know, do a copy-paste on China's uh, model of economic growth, which was you know, very energy intensive, uh, very capital intensive, in fact, um, and, and, and has been very pollution intensive and, and had a strong export orientation as well. I think the Indian growth model will be different from that. It will be different because actually the choices um, in terms of energy mix are very different for India as compared with China. Um, the access to coal, even inside India, although there are lots of reserves, is quite complex, as, as you're aware. Um, the technology opportunities around renewables are radically different today from those that were available to the Chinese government in the early 1990s. Um, at the, the structure of the world economy is radically different. So the chance for India to come in and play an energy-intensive, export-intensive industrialization strategy I don't think is there, if you look at global value chains, in the same way as it was available to China. So I think our, the opportunity for India is, is to fashion a different economic growth strategy, um, one that is inclusive and is right for its society, um, and to take advantage of this transformative shift in technologies that, that are becoming available. And can we help? Can, I mean, I would like to see, you know, governments, including the UK government, make sure that, you know, insofar as there is concessional climate finance available, um, that we get, that India gets its fair share. Um, and, and you can't just kind of say, well, now India is a middle income country and therefore, to, you know, there are more poor people in India than in any other country on the planet. So, so we've got to have an intelligent, sophisticated understanding of that and integrate that into how we provide support to multiple means, whether it's technology or the use of, of concessional finance, whether it's called climate finance or development finance.